Uh, so I have called the meeting to order. Okay. Sorry, town clerk over here. Uh, but before we do that, we need to complete your oaths if you haven't done that already. And that is, do you swear that you'll support the Constitution of the United States and of this state so long as you shall continue as citizen thereof? And do you swear that you'll faithfully discharge to the best of your abilities the duties incumbent upon you as a planning board member according to the Constitution and the laws of this state? I do. I do. I do. Very good. And if you could sign at the top portion of that oath of office. I'll give these to that to you, right? Yes. Then we can proceed with an election of chair. We'll open for nominations for chair. Um, You want to be chairman this year? No, I don't think I'm not. No. <laughs> All right. I will nominate John Ames for, for I'll chairman. Maybe another year if I get know what I'm doing. Okay. Are there any additional nominations? Hearing none, nominations will cease. All those in favor of John Ames as chair? Three to zero. Thank you. I mean, he's yours. Um, pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The election chair is done. I make a motion that Chucky is vice chair. I will second that. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Is Margaret in tonight? She's not. Uh, she's out of town and can't be sworn in yet. Um, or one person short? No, we got three. Four? Wasn't there five of us originally, wasn't there? Yeah, but the, nobody has run for that. And we've got a, the selectmen are going to appoint somebody. They've been taking, Richard has been taking applications for the positions. No we'll right ins or nothing for the. I couldn't do it right here. The final seat was left vacant too late in the nomination process. Okay. So, Chucky's vice chair. The election of secretary, I nominate Charlotte. She is so good at it. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Um, review approved minutes of January 12, 2023. Um, And that was a um, call to order and then new business with um, Nickerson's um, building. I do a few of application. Mr. Shute inquired as to whether or not proposed construction would be compliant with the deep restrictions. Motion to deem the application complete. Mr. Shute made motion to waive a holding a public hearing 
and the planning board began the process of re reviewing the application for compliance with section 10 of the Norwich Walk site plan. Mrs. Curtis joined the meeting via Zoom. I make a motion that we accept the minutes of the 12th of January as complete. I'll second it. All in favor? Review and approved minutes of January 26, which was a special planning board meeting. <coughs> And I will make a motion that we accept the minutes of the January 26, 23 meeting and complete. Second that. All in favor? Public comment. All of you over there, you want to talk? Don't speak to once. Other business. Uh, the one item to consider today, because uh, the agenda was published before the election, uh, is the moratorium ordinance on retail medical marijuana establishments. So the opt-in question failed. That was the first question on your ballot. Uh, but the second question was the moratorium. So. The moratorium was accepted, even though it's arguably irrelevant now, the planning board still has the duty to review it. Do you think it's prudent, relevant, whatnot, to explore regulating retail medical marijuana establishments? Well, I have a question. Um, how soon can they bring that up again to vote? I don't believe that there's any limit to it. They're able to generate the petitions in the, in the lead up timeline. Well, I I remember there again when I was in the office reading in the uh, town and city um, that the town of Vizi had a board of selectmen who wanted a particular thing to happen. And they kept putting it before the town and putting it before, and the town kept voting it down. And finally, after four or five times, they took the selectmen to court and they won. So, I mean, I mean if, if, if we don't have to worry about it, it's been voted down with, um, then I don't see any rush. Um, my comment is that this is just beginning. They're going to push and push and push, okay, until it actually happens. Um, so my question is, do we need to write an ordinance regulating those when they do come in? That's your pleasure. Um, can we do that? Isn't, doesn't state law apply to that? Yes, yeah, so but there are regulations that you can apply now to a medical retail marijuana establishments. Oh, oh. It can be location, it can be, you know, number of facilities, whatnot. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the uh, petitions. No, that's the, they're going to keep happening. I mean, a future opt in question could be, again, paired with a moratorium. And that would be in June. But they're going to count all because you don't have enough lead time on in June. Do what? How many of these signatures do they have to gather? Uh, 100 and used to be 146. It's up to 150. Yeah. So they need to put a lot of time into that. And then it, it doesn't, isn't in there. They don't need it. That's just me. And, you know, is that just like anything? I mean, 
I mean, can the town make that a lot stricter than the one downtown, the one that's already there? That you did grandfather in. I know that one here. is, but I mean, that would be kind of put them in a, I would get in the middle of that chance to put right. the town base much stricter than them, where they all of a sudden say that the town is selecting solid waste on us. And they'll be, yeah. uh, you know, you make it just stiff. They wouldn't, then you get into a lawsuit over that, you know, what the, you're not talking about. Yeah. Them. Which I don't really, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> Someone's going to watch it, they can get him. <laughs> I'm also I'm just as bad at being fast because I don't know nothing about marijuana to be monkeying with it, what you're supposed to do and what you ain't supposed to do. In my younger days, I was kind of like an expert. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Um, you probably remember it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not just around every time. Um, you ride out around the countryside, you can kill them, go on a glass mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Or you'd be at a game or something sitting on the bleachers. Oh, yeah, but I mean, there's some houses around. You look at it, you, and you look, they got them heat pumps, and they got a cable going off the rigby transformer. Yeah. All right. So that's two people that don't see an urgency to this. The other thing is that there's changing regulation. So if you develop one, you might go back and redo it anyway, depending upon what state statute's going to Yeah, be. yeah. Oh, state wow. Well, on something like that, we would have a public hearing. Right. It's just, you know, because I mean, I can remember the town has all weight on it. I mean, that caused more hot burn than you got thrown out of court, and that caused more. <laughs> I know. Well, I knew when got elected on the basis that he was going to get rid of it. Yeah, because he, uh, that was a campaign pledge, and he was going to shut that down. Who was that? Boy, Newman. But then they had, oh my God, they had to, oh, Jenny, you just, you, if anyone called in here, they had to have Harry Norton out there running around looking at the trucks, make sure they didn't have a hole in them. And, you know, Jesus. I mean, you know, just. Yeah, I know that they used to have to check in here. All right, so the only other question that I had was, does anybody have anything in terms of there, it being a new board, goals or things that you're looking to do outside of just processing regular business. Now, was there any problem with the other ordinance passing about the solar the amendment? No, that was approved. Okay, good. Is so it, that, now we've got something to work with. Is it because it, because you, because you, you only had one, one, well, has there been anybody from the solar outfit? been in contact with, because it's only been a day or two, but I mean, before that, I wanted to know when that was going to be done, and so they could apply. Wonder what it was to apply from there. We have not had, even through the process of moratorium, we have not had a commercial developer contact the town about it. Because I think we've had private individuals contact the town about it, but no, not commercial. Well, that's what, I think that you've talked to most of these officers, I think they're pretty full. I thought that the uh, Martin Stream Road project hadn't even started because I thought it was right there in the field. It's it is, it's but it's, it's over, over by uh, yeah, it's Hill pretty out, out back. And by the looks of the same solar type panels they're putting up here on the new two at Bob Poolins. One that actually moved with the sun. Yeah. And they're so much is smaller. That, is that Skalhegan? Yes. Yeah. And it just crosses over the line. Well, I guess we wait and see what develops. Yeah. And you got any, no any subdivision, no. I don't have anything no, on the horizon. No. No, I don't know why. No appeal. No, because that's what that's a people. Yeah, there may be a site plan review application for uh, two structures within the shoreland within the floodplain. Oh, I don't know. Well, the initial initial indicators are 
that the state's going to exempt them from it because of the type of structures, but that the structures are still going to be covered under our site plan review or I see. So, because it's, uh, it's the coverings. And so those are still covered under the site plan, but the state is saying that they're going to exempt them. So if, if it does come to, which it's going to, I believe, it's going to be, it's still going to go through the floodplain, they're still going to go through the shoreland, but they could apply for waivers. So it's going to streamline your process here, you're just going to have to simply go through the site plan review process. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's it. So I don't have anything else. Are you, how many of you have to You said you had some people that were showed interest in being appointed. Yeah, I've got five or six applications. Really? You bet you couldn't get anyone before. Yeah. I mean, but I think I was the only one that was showed any interest for a couple well, of months. Well, I think that's because you were sitting there and you said, I want it, and they put you in, period. Well, I got, <laughs> one meeting I came to and I could see what could happen. I said, Jesus, if somebody does anything. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny We meeting. do need a full board here. Boy, that was a I don't know what we're going to do about Margaret. Well, she keeps doing that. She just kind of ask her, and if you, I mean, if you can't really throw I would just say if you can't participate, you want to resign. <laughs> I mean, if, if it keeps on, I mean, for so on, on and on if, and on. If the board doesn't have any other business. I, I have a, a question about our solar ordinance. Because um, I don't know if anybody else has been experiencing our light bill is like double. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at possibly putting in some solar panels on a roof or something. That's private. Yes. The ordinance doesn't. Apply. Right. Um, and that's what I told somebody, and they said, no, perhaps it's an ordinance. But they didn't. Um, when does it become commercial? When they decide to sell it, I guess. When it's not used for on site consumption. So you could have a, say, 100 acres, but if you're a high energy user, and you can just, you'd have to be a super high energy user, but, you know, say you had 35 acres and it was a sewer plant or something, you know, it's when um, you start to sell that off. Well, even on your home power solar panel, you're, you're going to overproduce at times. Mm -hmm. It's not being necessarily resold. You're receiving it in the form of a credit on your bill. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've been doing that for years. Right. Um, I get a, another question. If they did it at like a garage or something like that, would that be then be considered commercial? No, it's not about residential and commercial. It's about, uh, it's two different commercials, right? So it's commercial solar, not commercial building. So if your garage is going to be used as a business, it's commercial. But the solar wouldn't be considered commercial. Right. right. There was a Walmart and they wanted to put solar on their roof. Yes, the building is commercial, but the solar on top is not commercial solar. Because it's for private use. Because they're consuming it right there. Even though they may be overproducing. You're probably not going to overproduce in the winter. Well, a lot of these new solar panels, like I, I just went up to um, Athens or towards Athens and welded on a skitter for somebody. They just put it in, and um, theirs actually has solar panels on the backside that reflect off the snow. That's a new thing. Hmm. Um, so I'm um, you said that your electric bill, are you with Efficiency Maine by any chance? Is that your provider? Where, where, can I just, is there board. any more business on the planning board? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I make a motion that we close. No, he. I have no other business. Okay. So we. I just feel like we might be going down a personal conversation. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. And we're alive. Correct. Oh. So you're a journeyist 
at yes. 6.30. Yes. Thank you. Now, 